Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare for an effective and productive study session. So I won't do all of these things every single time I sit down to study because sometimes you only have 10, 20 minutes and you don't really have time to go through this process but these are things that I try to make sure I've done if I'm doing a much longer study session and hopefully this will give you some ideas on how to make sure that your study sessions can be as productive as possible and I also need to point out that this video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace which is a platform that allows you to make your very own website and the websites just look so professional. I'm actually in the process of transferring my website at the moment so I was with a different website provider originally and now I'm transferring my website over to Squarespace. Without further ado, I'm going to show you the ways that I like to prepare for my study sessions. So the first thing I like to do is just tidy up my study space and my room if it is messy as well. I find it really difficult to work when I'm in a cluttered or dirty environment and so I just feel like this is a really good thing to do at the beginning. The next thing I will do is actually plan my study session and I like to use my pumpkin productivity study planner which is actually available on my website. So I will write a to-do list and then I will fill in a timetable so that I can make sure that I don't procrastinate and that my time is efficiently and productively used. Next, I like to put on these little electric candles. So we're not allowed candles in university rooms and so I definitely do miss my candles back at home but these little LED tea lights do do the job. So the next thing I will do is spray some room spray. I like this autumn one from the White Company. I always get myself some water because you can easily get dehydrated when you're studying and I will also open up my window to let in some fresh air. I like to choose a healthy snack that I can fall back on if I do get hungry and I will also make myself some tea because I love tea and my go-to is Earl Grey. I love the one from Bluebirds. Now, maybe I'm biased because I'm a study tuber, but another thing which I can recommend is watching something to get you motivated. So I like to watch Study With Me's. Uh, here I'm watching on Jaded Jade. I will leave some other study tubers linked down below, which I do find motivating to watch. And also keep in mind that I've got, I think it's 47 Study With Me's on my channel if you're ever in need of one. And I keep these all in a playlist on my website as well, under a section which is all about planning a successful study study session and it kind of goes through a stage by stage process on how to have a good study session so then I cannot point out enough that you should never go on social media right before you start a study session because it will completely throw you your mind off balance. Um, I like to turn my phone on airplane mode so that I don't get distracted by notifications and I will also set both a timer and a stopwatch so that I can track how long I'm spending studying. You might also want to use Forest, sometimes I do use this too. Sometimes I will also play some music. I really like the Cider House Rules soundtrack for studying too. One thing I like to do in preparation for study sessions is lay out all of the materials that I might need, uh, kind of in order of the tasks I'm meaning to do. This means that you don't have to get distracted halfway through the session trying to find something or another which you need to help you study and it basically just helps to retain my focus um, so hopefully it would help to retain yours too. So that's the last part of my preparing for studying routine and I hope that you found these tips useful. Thank you.
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. So as I said, this video was kindly sponsored by Squarespace. It's been really good fun being able to redesign my website and add in lots of new things and resources, which I'm just so excited to share with you. Uh, so when that is up and running, I will make sure to let you know. But just to give you a quick sneak peek, I just really love how professional and how sleek the Squarespace platform is, which is especially great because it's just so easy to use. So it's really customizable, but you don't have to get bogged down with HTML and coding and things. So you can use Squarespace to make a website, to get a domain, or to sell products as well. So for example, in this video, you saw me using my study planner, and this is something that I sell on my website. So if you're interested in signing up with Squarespace and having a look at some of the services that they offer, then I'm going to leave a link in the description box, which is www.squarespace.com slash rubygranger and you can also use the code rubygranger for 10% off. So yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, once again, I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you have a productive week.